Hey guys, it's about to storm right now, so I'm going to make this very quick. Um, first things first, I am extremely tired. I have been filming more of Savored Secrets, which is my new show coming out very, very soon. Uh, I had to wake up very early in the morning and get filming, and filming concluded a couple hours ago. I'm still feeling it right now. I'm still very tired. Um, so that's why I'm very low energy right now. However, I need to talk about this because I've been meaning to talk about this at the beginning of each Pikmin episode. Uh, but it's just getting way out of hand and I keep forgetting to talk about it. So I'm just going to make a video talking about it. I may forget to mention it in future Pikmin episodes, but I just want you guys to keep this in mind. Please stop spoiling future areas and enemies in Pikmin. So if I'm playing the game and there's a new area I've yet to discover or a new enemy that I have yet to discover, please don't go to the comments and flat out tell me about the enemy, how to beat the enemy, what the enemy is, and what area it's in. Don't be like, hey, I can't wait for you to get to this area to fight this specific enemy and make sure when you fight this specific enemy, fight it this way so you'll come out on top. It's just like, but... I haven't even gotten close to that area or I haven't I didn't even know that enemy existed until you told me and it just in my opinion ruins the fun uh, of, it just takes away from the discovery factor the initial discovery factor and not knowing what to do so what I love about video games is where I get to uh, encounter this new enemy or find this new area for the very first time and figure out how to take it down myself. However, if I struggle, if I just don't seem to get it, then take it to the comments and tell me once I discovered the enemy or once I'm in that area, by all means go crazy. But um, recently, there's been people in my comment section who would write very long paragraphs uh, as to or uh, about an area I've yet to get to or enemies that are in the area that I've yet to even discover in the first place that I never even knew existed and how to beat them and stuff like that. So please stop, please, because I want to play the Pikmin games or just mostly any game and every game in general with as little spoilers as possible. I, I hate spoilers. I hate spoilers so much. I don't want the experience to be spoiled for me. I just don't want, I don't want to know exactly what I'm up against in the future and instantly know how to defeat it. Like, well, how is that fun? That's not fun to me. I'd rather have no idea what I'm up against or have no idea what's next and then figure out how to defeat the enemy myself and if I just don't get it, then by all means tell me, and then I'll apply the advice you guys give me in the next episode. Simple as that. You guys just give me advice and spoiler-free advice and tips and tricks. That's great. That's fine. That's excellent. Please continue doing that. It helps tremendously. And that's the only reason why I'm somewhat half-decent at the game right now is because of you guys actually helping me out with giving me useful tips and tricks on how to get how to get better at the game. So that's great. By all means, continue doing that. That's A-OK. -okay. And simply being excited, like, hey, listen, I can't wait for him to uh, go to the next area. It's going to be great or something like that. that that's fine, too. I'll, that's OK. But flat, flat out saying, hey, I can't wait for you to get to this specific area, face this specific enemy, and use this specific strategy to win. Like, it, it just, the moment I, or I read half of that, I, I have to stop reading it, the comment. I have to ignore it. I have to just completely tab out because it's just, it's infuriating. It, it really is. Um, so I've been meaning to try to say please no spoilers at the beginning of each episode, but I keep forgetting uh, because I'm just so excited to play the game. I don't think really about commentary and what I want to say. Um, so yeah, but I thought I should make a video talking about this because it's really getting, it's really getting out of hand and I want to experience Pikmin 2 with as little knowledge as possible going into it. All I know about Pikmin 2 is that it's way more difficult than the first game. That's it. So let's keep it that way. Um, until obviously I start playing it. 
However, and if there is a first area, don't tell me anything, but um, if I'm in the, the first area, don't tell me about the second area and the enemies I'm about to face. Let me discover everything, everything first. I can't speak today. I'm very tired. But let me discover everything first, and then we'll talk about strategy and how to deal with each enemies or each enemy and how to navigate in that certain area. So once that's all said and done, then all is a-okay. But I've seen people talk about future bosses, and what's so weird to me is that um, during, like, I think episode 4 of my Pikmin Part 1 Let's Play, people were already talking about Pikmin 2, and I'm just baffled. I, I Like I said, I had to stop reading. I'm like, why are people talking about certain enemies and certain areas in Pikmin 2? When I'm not even halfway through the first game. Now I'm nearly done. Now I'm like 90% through the first game. But like at the time, I'm just like, why? I, I just don't understand it. It's it, it, it's just frustrating. I also plan on playing all the Pikmin games in numbered order. So obviously when I'm done Pikmin 1, I'm going to play Pikmin 2 and then 3 and then 4 and then Hey Pikmin. So even though I pre-ordered Pikmin 4, I just have the game at the ready. I will not be playing Pikmin 4 right after I'm done with Pikmin 1. Like I said, I'm going at my own pace. I'll play Pikmin 2, and then 3, and then 4, and then Hey Pikmin. And then maybe check out some modded Pikmin and stuff like that. So, yeah, I don't know. It depends uh, what you guys want. Also, I've been thinking about uh, streaming uh, the Pickcraft, the Minecraft Pikmin Let's Play. Because I only made one episode of that. I ha didn't make an episode 2, I just never had the time. And never thought about that until recently. I'm like, oh crap, I need to make a part 2. So I may just make that a stream series for you guys to watch and enjoy between an hour to two hours long uh, per episode. I don't know how consistent the stream series is going to be, but it's going to be uh, pretty cool, hopefully. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Anyways, I'm tired. Um, I'm just going to end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys. See you guys soon.